welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we're covering my least favorite figures to play with, guys. Every single one of these figures can totally kick effing rocks. I can't stand them. We're going to cover everything I hate about them. In yesterday's video, we talked about my favorite players to pose around and play with. Today, we're covering the ones that totally suck eggs. These figures are just, I, I, I don't know. We'll get into all of it, guys. But if you missed yesterday's video about my favorite figures to play with, please go check that one out. It was very uh, very enjoyable. You know, you can run through all the figures I love. There was a mountain high, you know. So one thing I will say is just because I don't like to use them doesn't mean I don't love the figures. I just feel like it's very frustrating to play with or pose around these figures. It's not that I hate the figures necessarily. Some of them I do hate, but it's not like I want to get rid of them or anything like that. I still love my collection. I still love my figures and everything that Mattel gives us. And, you know, so I, I, I'm not going to say that, you know, I don't want them anymore and stuff like that. I still enjoy them. You know, some of these characters, you can't help but, you know, you, you, you got to put up with it. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. We're going to start off with probably the, the most controversial. I think that people are going to have a big problem with this. I don't know. Maybe people will understand what I'm saying. But anyways, we have an Elite CM Punk, and this is the Elite 20, but I'm including every single Elite CM Punk. I'm talking from the first one the, in Elite Series 1 to the last one, which is what, the best of pay-per-view, WrestleMania, Toys R Us exclusive one. So every single one of them are just not good to me. I don't like posing them around, and you guessed it, they have the ratchet joints. We talked about the ball joints in the good figures. Well, a lot of the bad figures have the ratchet joints, guys, and this is what they look like, if you guys can see in there. You guys see how it has that little ridge right there? It has the joint, and then it has the, like the little uh, line like sculpted on there. That is a ratchet joint. And then you have the ball joints, which I think this Dean Ambrose has, and you guys can see the difference. Okay, so here's a ball joint. You guys see the difference. If it has a line on it, or if it has that sculpted line coming through the middle of it, then that is a ball joint. And then if it has the line sculpted on it, then it is a ratchet joint. Here's the difference. You guys can see one of them has the line, one of them does not, and uh, so that is it. The CM Punk figures are just really difficult to move around. And he has a cool move set. I do like CM Punk. However, uh, his figures are just garbage to use, in my opinion. Next up, guys, this is probably one of my least favorite figures to pose around. Any pants Rey Mysterio are awful. And look at this right here. Look at what I'm telling you. Look at this right here. That is, look how stiff his leg is. Look at this. Look at that. It won't even stay in place, guys. Look at that. He can barely move his leg forward. These figures are just really a headache. Like, look at this. I didn't know this was a flexum figure. It's not a flexum figure. He can go spread eagle, but moving his legs forward is a nightmare and it's awful like look at that it's awful it's just like terrible it will not stay it's very god i just want to break it i bet i could break his leg off if i really wanted to but then i'd end up with two elite one Rey mysterios one without a foot and one without an effing leg Next up, guys, we have Dean Ambrose, and honestly, uh, any shield, this goes for any shield figure besides Roman Reigns. I don't know what it is. They have the same legs as Roman Reigns, but I guess it's like the upper body proportions and everything kind of help balance out Roman Reigns, because these shield figures, I just don't like. They don't stand well. Um, I'm not a big fan of their boots. They're really hard to stand up and stuff like that. Their articulation's not bad. Again, they are on ball joints, but I don't know what it is. I'm just not a fan of the shield figures. That new Elite 70, Seth Rollins, that just shipped, uh, uh, Elite 70 is shipping right now, and so uh, that figure right there, I can already tell. I don't think they changed any parts on it since the first Elite Shield Seth Rollins, so I know that I'm probably going to have a headache with that figure, but we'll see. Uh, but uh, the Shield figures are definitely on there, except Roman Reigns. I, I know it's weird. Next up, guys, another figure that is just the same thing as that Rey Mysterio. He just doesn't move. This Mark Henry figure, his legs will not, like, look at, that's as far as his leg will kick forward. That is as far as his leg will kick forward. His legs can barely move outward. I understand he's a big guy, but, like, I, I just, it's very stiff. It feels like the figure is going to break in my hands. I don't like it. it. It has ratchet joints again. And not only all of those flaws, guys, but this guy knocked over my shelf many, many times because his ankle joint is loose. And so when you stand him up, he'll just tip on forward, and he's coming down like an avalanche. And look, look how loose this is. Look at that right there. That is terrible. Like, I'm barely even doing it. On this side, you can tell it's much better. It won't even go up here. Look at that. Like, it has a little wiggle, but it won't push forward. Look at this one. All the way. Look at that. That is crazy. So, this Mark Henry figure is definitely on there. I, I just, oh, man, gives me headaches. Headaches! 
Next up, guys, we have Elias, and Elias is, uh, he's on ball joints, so that's a little bit better, but I don't know, I think it's like the feet mold or something. The feet mold are like small or something, and then like his feet can't bend all the way forward because of his pants cuff, and so I don't know, and plus his torso is a little bit too big for my liking. It's not terrible, but I do like the Mizdow or Macho Man torso for him better, I think. Uh, I think that's an accurate statement to make, but um, it's not, it's definitely not the worst figure in this video for me, but it is one that I wanted to include because he can uh, cause me headaches. Again, he his legs are very stiff when you move them forward, and uh, he does get a big wide base, which I do like, but uh, Elias is on this video. He does give me headaches. Next up, guys, we have my boy John Cena. You guys know I love John Cena. I have like 100 John Cena figures, and um, I think almost half of them are in this version, so it kind of does suck sometimes, but these figures get really stiff. Like, they're, they're really stiff, like kicking forward. They're a little bit better here. This is one of the better ones. Like, I think right out of the packaging, they're not as bad, but once you get one of these that's kind of older, you know, the older, long, short John Cena molds, the ankles get super duper loose, and they want to lean forward. You know how many John Cenas take a dive off my shelf every month? Month, like three or four of them with this style of legs just go brown and just plummet into the freaking turf so I mean it, it is a definite thing that pisses me off it gets on my nerves and um, they're just the articulation man I don't know what it is the legs get loosey-goosey and they're really just stiff those stiff legs man I wish that every Mattel figure was on ball joints then we wouldn't have to deal with this but it's just uh, it's just what we have so I mean you just got to get over it and the shorter John Cena mold is much better it's much better and not near a headache so that is John Cena guys moving forward we do have some more we have trash corbin and honestly i like his elite, elite 50 figure i love i think that his elite 50 figure is a perfect representation of trash corbin he doesn't have a t-shirt but his legs are much better like these legs are way too skinny and they get really loosey goosey and uh he i mean his articulation is crazy it kind of reminds me of that uh what was it toy biz he reminds me of that toy biz dennis rodman figure you guys remember i, I know a lot of you don't remember but growing up i had this dennis rodman figure which was really awesome but um i he was about this tall. I swear he was this tall. He may have been a little shorter, but you could spread his legs just like this. And I used to like super kick and like wheelbarrow the hell out of people, just freaking helicopter kick the sh out of everybody. So uh, that is something that this figure reminds me of. But that figure was better than this one, um, considering the year was like 2001 or two when I got it. So that is just something to take note of when looking at this figure. Again, it looks like Corbin. It's a good head scan. It comes with cool accessories and everything, but his legs are so loosey goosey. And um, yeah, his Elite 50 figure is a much better figure. Next up, guys, we have Jeff Hardy, and this pains me to say, Jeff Hardy has one of the coolest movesets. He's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, but his figures are a complete headache. I wish they would put these on ball joints. Again, his legs are really stiff. Um, getting them to go spread it, like, that's as far as that leg will go out. Like, look at that. The left leg will not go out any. The right leg will definitely go out more. The left leg's very stiff, um, but a lot, all his figures are like this, and I feel like I'm going to break them every time I'm putting him in the pick fed, anytime he comes out on MDT Live, anytime he's in a pay-per-view matchup. Um, it's scary. I feel like I'm going to snap his legs off, which is actually, um, I think on my custom Jeff Hardy, I think I actually used a, a formula where it was on ball joints. I could be wrong about that. I may be wrong, but uh, I think in that Royal Rumble, I think that's the best posing I've ever done with a Jeff Hardy because uh, he just felt a lot better. Maybe it was because, I, I don't know, maybe it's because the figure got worn in or something, but straight out of the packaging, these things are terrible, and you have to get the articulation going and stuff, but there is Jeff Hardy, even though I love him to death. Next up, we have Braun Strowman. Guys, Braun Strowman, he's just so big and awkward. I know that it's really tough, but his arms are really short, and uh, I think they fixed it a little bit with the Elite Series 68, but any Braun Strowman that's before this, um, I feel like his arms couldn't bend near this much. I feel like they were like out here, and it, it was very hard to like get him in poses and stuff. It's still hard to get him in poses, don't get me wrong, but I think they improved it uh, with the Elite Series 68. He is on ball joints, so his legs aren't near as bad. He can actually kick forward a little bit, but any big guy, his abs crunch isn't good at all and his back crunch isn't much better so it's a it can be a very big headache trying to pose big guys around which i can understand but i don't know man uh braun Strowman definitely gives me headaches next up guys we have our last five and this one this one may be my least favorite to pose around in the world this eric Rowan figure, you guys know that he is in the Wyatt Colt. Filming that matchup versus, who was it, versus the versus Rusev Day on Vindication episode number 13, guys, this man is terrible to pose around with. His arms can't even come close to go, coming together. Like, look at this right here. That's as far as his hands can come together. Look at that. 
That is terrible, so it's very hard to pick people up in power bombs. Uh, not only that, his ab crunch isn't good at all. His back crunch is a little bit better, but not much better, like Braun Strowman. And his legs are terrible. That's as far as he can kick forward. He is a headache to pose around. I guarantee you, just try to do a simple power bomb sequence with this guy, just chilling, and it's it's a headache, man. It really is. Like I can't stand it. And maybe you're better than me. I'm sure you're better than me at posing. You can go ahead and give it a try. But I hated it, and um, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next, you know, episode of Vindication because the man does have that, you know, tag team number one contender tournament finals with the Fashion Police, uh, with Luke Harper on his team, the Wyatt Cold are taking on the Fashion Police, so we're going to have to figure out some way to make this man a figure that's not terrible. His legs are also loosey-goosey, so uh, this, this figure is a headache for sure, and it's definitely one of my least favorite. Next up, guys, we have the women's figures, and specifically this Natalia. I mean, not all women's figures are complete trash, but a lot of them are, guys. You know, you've heard me talk about it many times on the channel, but her legs are stiff. They don't even go together. Like, look at this right here, how they bounce back out. Uh, the figure's very hard to stand up. And even just a simple pay-per-view predictions video, it's hard for me to get this figure to stand. And it's just annoying. She doesn't have an ab crunch at all. It's like solid plastic. She has the new basic articulation arm, so, like, there's not even a bicep swivel. Uh, her wrist can't even, like, hinge up and down. So, uh, I don't know. It's just a really... Uh, God, this, this figure is definitely one of my least favorite. It's just such a freaking piece of trash. I can't stand it, but, you know, it is what it is. It just looks kind of cheap, doesn't it? I don't know. The Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey makes this figure just look like pure doo-doo. And coming into our final three, guys, we do have three figures. And I hate to put this thing on here, but the first thing I'll say is the, the waist is loosey-goosey, so it makes it suck. The, the, this chest is way too big for Sting. I like the Stone Cold Steve Austin one, or maybe even the Mizdow torso would work better for Sting, in my opinion. This head skin isn't the greatest. Both Surfer Sting head skins were not good, and it's crazy because the legs are actually really good. I love the legs and crotch they put on the Sting figure, especially the Surfer Sting ones. I really do like these. I love the white pants. I love the way they feel. They're a bit loosey-goosey at times, but you know what? They still feel good, but this torso is way too jacked. It actually goes fur. It's wider than the crotch piece, and then uh, the loose waist and all that really ruins it, and uh, it, it sucks because his, his legs are really nice and really fun to do, but the rest of his figure makes it bad. So this is probably one of those figures that is just, you know, it's a bittersweet one. For our last two guys, we do have this Miz figure. Thank God they switched up the Miz guys because these uh, these older Miz figures, uh, this one's a lot better than my other one. I used to have this figure that I turned into my Marty Skrull, and the legs were atrocious. Like the kick pads, they would like warp the legs, and they used to have this CM Punk slash uh, Seth Rollins uh, kick pad mold, and I don't know what it is, but the Seth Rollins kick pad, kick pad mold is a lot better than this. Um, they did change it. They like molded it differently, so uh, that's probably why this is like back in early Mattel days where the legs get really stiff the uh, lower legs are real walky and they get warped and stuff like that I would say that other Miz this Miz actually doesn't feel as bad but that Miz I had uh, prior to making the Marty Skrull was just terrible and for the final figure guys we have R-Truth and I really hate this hopefully uh, an updated R-Truth will be a lot better than this but for this one his legs get super loosey goosey he is on ratchet joints and he's very hard to stand up like he's just one of those figures and I love R-Truth I love him to death but uh, this figure can give me headaches at times, and I wish I could use him more. Hopefully, we get a new Elite or truth in here, man, because I really do want to use him uh, not only on the pick fed, but I want to, you know, do some entertaining things with him and things of that nature. But that is it for all the figures that I hate, man. I mean, all of these figures have something about them that just drives me up the freaking wall. They're freaking trash. A lot of them are trash. Some of them I can get past. You know, I can enjoy them. Like Jeff Hardy, I, I, I have no choice. I have to enjoy it, right? CM Punk, I have no choice. I have to force myself to enjoy it. But uh, other guys, it's just uh, like Eric Rowan. My God, this figure. I don't know what I would put at my number one. Eric Rowan is definitely up there. That Natalia figure is up there. That Rey Mysterio figure is up there. And probably, I don't even remember. Uh, maybe, uh, the, the Eric Rowan is definitely one of my least favorite, though. My God, it's on ball joints, but it's still, it's just, a, oh, man, I could just, I could throw it right now. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the figures that I hate to play with the most. They are just, oh, man. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do you agree with me? I would love to know down in the comment section below. Is there a figure here that you love to play around with? that I don't like, or uh, is there a figure in here that you hate as well? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Again, if you miss the figures that I love to play with, definitely go check those out down in the comment section. I'm sure you'll find you know the video and the suggested. If not, just go to the channel. It's this video that we uploaded yesterday. I'd really, really appreciate it, but thank you guys for watching NXT TakeOver tonight. Very excited for that. 
We also have SummerSlam tomorrow night, which is going to be epic. Uh, a wheelchair in the backstage just moved, and I don't know why, and I'm kind of scared now. So uh, I'm going to go defend this ghost, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video, unless I get killed by this weird ghostly figure that's standing right beside me. Thanks.